Hello all, welcome to aurotrainers.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we split data into multiple sheets using Excel template. Let us understand what is the logic behind splitting the data. So the logic behind splitting the data, there are two important tags or a, like a XDO functionalities. The first one is called XDO underscore sheet underscore. And wherein we have to mention what is the way you want to split the data. Nothing but using which particular grouping or a group entry, you want to split the data into sheets. Based on the XD underscore sheet and the value, like uh, in this example, if you see, uh, if you observe column A, we mentioned the functionality called XD underscore sheet underscore question mark. And in the column B, we need to specify using which group you want to split the data into multiple sheets. And then what is the sheet name you want to mention? The first, the first functionality, like uh, splitting the data into groups or into sheets. And then what is the sheet name you want to mention? So in the second entry, we mentioned XD underscore sheet underscore name, wherein we are mentioning that our particular sheet name should have a value called department name followed by number of employees in, but a number of like um, employees in that department or another example, you can observe that like uh, I want to specify like a business unit name followed by the number of invoices in that particular business unit. So these are very two important like a key entries using which we have commands, which we have to mention to split the data into multiple sheets. Now, let us see the steps involved in designing this particular sample. The first and foremost important thing is designing a data model, get the sample data from the first step, and then design the template by inserting fields and repeating group, and then test the template. So how does the data model visually like uh, look like in our case? So this is how we just need to design a template, design the data model. Like uh, we have a parent group called business unit name under which we need to design the child entry, which will display all the invoices related to that particular invoice, nothing but the group one or a GBU is linked to GAP or a G2 based on the business unit name, okay? Now like a G1 is a parent or AP, like a business G underscore BU is a parent as well as G underscore AP is a child. And then the layout, so here if you observe, we have the business unit name, which is a parent entry, and that we have a invoice detail, invoice details, which are the child entries, and now, if you observe the XDO metadata, we have mentioned the first two key entries in the XDO meta sheet, metadata sheet. These are these two entries should be like a, should be in a starting position after data constraints. Mention the sheet and then mention the grouping like a G underscore BU in our case. And the sheet name we have to mention like what is the sheet name you want to mention like a, in our case we want to we want to follow like a business unit name followed by the number of invoices, nothing but the count of invoices in that particular BU. And this sample output expected from this particular sample like a, here, if you observe in the sample output, like um, we have a business unit name followed by count. And in that particular sheet, we'll find we'll find like what is a business unit name as well as invoice, the invoice details of that specific business unit. Okay, let us start designing this sample. Now, we'll see the query first. And here you have two queries. One is a business unit query. Another one is AP invoice query. So I'll just go to be a publisher, click on data model. And I'll save the sample first inside our trainings folder. And I'll name it as split data into multiple sheets or into, into sheets. And first query I'll mention here, I have wantonly hard coded the data with my BU name. And this one, the first one I'll mention it as the G underscore BU as my data set name. And the next one, I'll select the invoice query, AP invoice query. And this one I'll mention it as G underscore AP. Okay. And one more thing I want to specify is like, um, just click on this particular gear icon, click on properties. I want to mention, wanted to mention this particular group name as G underscore AP, G underscore BU, sorry. G underscore BU. And this one, the G2, I want to mention it as, G underscore AP. So that I'll understand this G underscore AP gives me invoice data, G underscore BU gives me business unit name. So I want to correlate or I want to like uh, group them based on this BU name. So I'll just simply drag and drop BU name here like this. That's it. So now G underscore BU is a parent and G underscore AP is a child. So click on save, click on data, and you can just click on view and let us see the data now. We could see that like a business unit name, like a, this is a GBU data and this is below one of the GAP data, right? Now, mention larger number of rows and then save it as of now and then click on export. This step should download an XML file, right? This step 
should download an XML file. Copy the XML file, like I'll copy here. Okay, so this is our XML file. Now, the next step is designing the template. So, so I'll open Excel sheet, blank workbook, save the file. Make sure that you select the appropriate version of the Excel workbook. And I'll say split data into multiple sheets, TMPL, and the extension is .xls. Okay. Now, let us mention the header. AP invoice report. Click on, yeah, now mention the column names. So the first column name you want to mention is here, business unit name. And you can just do a appropriate formatting. And here, click on via publisher, click on sample XML and load the XML data. And now click on field. And it says that meta data sheet will get created. Let it create, click on okay. And now insert the business unit name. And this is the header part. And now similarly, insert the invoice, invoice lines part, right? You can just, you know, like I can mention, if you want to mention all the columns you can mention or still like I just try to mention all a few fields. So I'll just mention these set of fields like till GL date. Okay, just format it appropriately. Now, click on BA Publisher. We don't require, you know, actually we don't require a business unit name in the child, but even though if you have it, it's not a problem, but yeah, let it be. Now click on BA Publisher, click on Field. Now, the first column is BU name, so I'll insert. Next one is invoice number, next payment combination ID, currency code, currency code, amount, invoice date, invoice source, invoice type, GL date, okay? So till this part we have it, so remaining fields I'll simply ignore as of now. Now what we have done so far is, okay, I think we have a document sequence value. So this is the document sequence value, not the GL date, it's okay. And now the next thing is, as of now, we have not inserted any repeating group, but very important thing is just mention repeating group only for the child. So select the child fields, nothing but AP, AP data, AP invoice data, and click on reporting, repeating group. And here you mention G underscore AP, that's it. Don't do anything for G underscore PO. Simply mention G underscore AP for the child part. But uh, now what we do is next logic is, now we have to mention the splitting logic. X, click uh, unhide the x meta metadata sheet. And here if you observe, so as we discussed, there are two important fields you have to ins insert, like uh, what you do is just here, select and press insert, and also press one more time insert. And what are the fields we have to insert is, these are two XDBO fields which we have to insert. The first one is XDBO sheet, and the next one is XDBO sheet name. Okay. And what is the value of XDO sheet? We want to split the data based on the data, what we have in the G underscore BU. And in the, what is the sheet name we want to mention? We want to split the data based on the business unit name, what we have in the GBU followed by the count of number of invoices. Okay. Now, save it as of now. And click on Excel and let us see how it works. Okay, so we could see India business unit. We got India business unit hyphen one. And similarly, you can see like uh, we have nine invoices here. Right, and you can see the Netherlands. We got six invoices. Okay, so here what are we trying to do is what we have done is we have split the data based on the data. Like we have split the data based on the 
value which you have in the grouping and also we mentioned the set of count you know like in some scenarios what you may have is you want to split the data based on the department or a bu or inventory or or sub inventory or like that right so we are dynamically splitting the data based on the values based on the values which we mentioned and the splitting logic was based upon the this particular two important tags xd underscore sheet as well as xd underscore sheet underscore name and the next final step is let us register it also so as of now i'll save it and click on create report select report use report editor and click on finish this is our report name upload the template tmpn output excel english and click on view report and let us see the output right this output and we got the same output from the instance also of course you have some formatting issues you can just set it appropriately okay so this is all about splitting the data into multiple sheets and very importantly just make sure that you mention these particular tags appropriately else it will not work effectively okay and also the other important logic is how do you like we just we should not mention anything any group for the parent we just need to mention the grouping only for the child nothing but here if you observe we have only one for each loop and for the parent we have not mentioned any grouping only for gap we have mentioned and for gbu we have not mentioned anything because we are splitting the data based on the sheet so automatically that will get iterated okay so it's all about splitting the data into multiple sheets using excel template thank you